going out with a bang! Oh my god, I survived! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode. Last day on our survival today, we're gonna turn this Roman zombie is time. We are back, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Oh, the most amazing variety today. We got some big things in store. As you know, we're going after the witch. She is back today, and we're bringing out some of the best weapons that we could possibly find to try and take her down without using C4. If need be, we do have some C4, but I'm just trying to find the best ways of taking her out without the C4. So why don't we try the uh, grenade launcher? I feel like I'm going to blow myself up, but who knows? But uh, I guess since we got some shotguns as well and a couple other goodies because we got ourselves a revenge raid. Marvelous news, I know. Let's begin repairing this this little thing ski doodle right around here stock it with the usual and then we are currently kind of going to go out and try to get ourselves a uh well a witch kill so we kind of do need to put a couple of things away because i'm not trying to bring all of this raiding stuff with that and then we might even go on and take on the blind one afterwards but step one we gotta take on the witch then Will come the raid and maybe a little bit of blind one. But I hope you guys have your favorite fantastic day. In the meantime, oh, the most amazing variety. I am excited to hope you guys have an amazing Sunday. Sundays are always such great days, man. They're just lazy and lofty and... I don't know, there's a whole ton of fun. We also do have these raiders as well that we can knock out a couple of quests for, but y'all step aside. We got some bigger things to talk about and we're gonna get to talk and we're gonna see if this grenade launcher can indeedly do be our saving grace or if it's just gonna result in us dying a little bit less hard or if it will result in us in living i'd love to live personally i don't know about you guys living is pretty cool but like i said if you guys have an awesome time in the meantime i'd love to hear how your day is going down in the comment section down below don't know why i traveled to this guy i know we were supposed to go with the witch i saw the timer up ahead uh we don't we didn't enter the area though so we'll be fine but i'd love to hear how your battles with the witch are going if you guys may have found any good kind of methods good time to kind of tips or tricks for taking it out and then if you guys are wondering how to take out the witch hopefully you guys can take some peek ski doodles at that comment section down below to help yourselves out i mean personally like i said the best bet like it's pretty reasonable to do i i wouldn't use two c4 on it like if you use one c4 that's usually plenty uh we're going a little bit hard mode though we're gonna try and take this thing out without using any c4 because that's when the true mobs of enemies come out which is kind of why i am a little bit worried and i'm also worried that hopefully my armor doesn't break but as long as all set up there well that's gonna be good but i'd love to hear that in that comment section down below and in my comments but you're third of the way it's the week to out dollar i do such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well as make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that'll let you win on today's video now go ahead and turn on every single last day on earth video when Saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment for a random video and that will be the video for the past week and we'll get off a new weekly giveaway as well so make sure that subscription bell is dinged as well so you never miss out on an opportunity never miss out on the latest of last day in the formations and of course never miss out on the dope survival games we're playing last day on earth of the ones i'm keeping my eye on a couple other mobile survival games i think we're going to dive into uh in a bit as well so that's going to be interesting but again let's return to the matter at hand that this witch we are about to battle with and this is going to go very interesting so we got to be ready as soon as the witch runs we whip out the grenade launcher the grenade launcher does have an area of attack but maybe this is just me being crazy i feel like after you shoot the grenade launcher your guy stops moving i don't want that to happen because then the enemies will run towards me with the grenade stuck to them that's that's not what i want what i do want though is the blood of the witch come hither foul being this way this way hey, hey hey let's go i'm not trying to literally like rule you out into any other areas please don't give me any big hits either i just want to take you out lick ski split ski doodles okay and then oh mama here they do come doing oh no 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 oh it didn't hit did you guys see that whoa 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 whoa, whoa. why didn't that work it's like i i I, I clicked okay this is actually very bad let's try to get a little bit jesus of separation let's click oh like what the hell what okay okay hold the hold hold the door here hold the door since when does the grenade launcher work like that hmm okay well that's a little bit interesting because apparently i gotta stand still until the grenade launcher is good to go um okay that's not what i was planning on doing if that's the case i think i know how we might need to do this we might need to i know we're kind of wasting some shotgun here which does suck uh but all the crawlers will despawn to my knowledge riguchi riguchi okay yeah the crawlers did despawn uh so the witch should be respawned i think we gotta shoot the crawlers as they're crawling out i think that's gonna be our best bet of taking this thing out so i think that's what we gotta try and do and see if that doesn't uh help us out 
a little bit over here. We do also need to find the witch, of course, and not die to her. Let's take out this toxic spitter real quick. Hopefully our shotgun doesn't get too dinged up. We do only have two of these puppies. Ah, ah, we might want to go and grab... Mm, mm. And we got a grenade launcher too. Honestly, I think I, I like our odds here. We ought to be able to do good. Why don't we, of course, kick things off by shooting the witch with a little bit of boom to kick things off. I know, I know. That's a rather, rather marvelous way, if you ask me, as long as she doesn't do too much damage. There we go. Then we equip this thing. No, no, no. Shoot this way. Shoot this way. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've been surrounded. I've been surrounded. This is not what I wanted. No, this is... We're not getting out of this one. Jesus. Okay. Um... Well, I was trying to shoot at where the crawlers were coming out of. Apparently, that doesn't work. Apparently, he really wanted to shoot the wolf that was running at us, and that uh, did not go well. So we got a grenade launcher back there we got to get. Luckily, that shouldn't be too big of a deal uh, because, again, it's not like... Uh, as long as the witch isn't patrolling it, though. We definitely need some more armor. So uh, we're 159.7% grabbing that because I like not dying. It's a very, very good pastime, personally. All right, well, I'm bringing a lot more shotguns just in case the going does get rough. Uh, it does appear that the full auto has been going a lot more smoothly lately. So maybe, like, some full auto shotties could do some... Mm, See, I don't know about full auto shotties, but maybe if we had some pistol. Ah, there's just so many of them, though. We really got to get this grenade launcher off. And I, I mean, personally, I think I do have an idea of doing it. But I think Wolf just can't freaking bum rush me like that and draw my aggro and, like, make my guy be like, Oh, look, shiny, Wolf here. Uh, that That is definitely what caused cause the downfall but as long as we're able to get it from or get our stuff back from here which we should be able to just got to watch out for the witch you guys can see we don't have the greatest armor we don't have any swat on us at the moment but this should do and uh, if, if we can't get the grenade launcher working smoothly here for taking out the crawlers we might just kind of try to focus it on the witch but it, it just sucks that like you gotta like stand still for a while i feel like the grenade launcher used to be I feel like it used to work differently. I feel like after you shot, it wouldn't let you move. But now it lets you move once, like, it tells you the area of effect, you know? I don't know. All I know is I better be getting that grenade launcher back, all right? I'm not the type of man to leave a grenade launcher behind. Okie dokie, artichokey. Let's just get, uh, freaking take all of that. There we go. Okay, okay. Let's equip the back to the pack. Let's get the last little thing over there. All right. The dead body has been abandoned. Marvelous news. We got to take on this witch somehow now. We... Don't really have any great quality shotguns, though, which is the poopy part. We do still have that. We do still have tons of medical supplies. Hokey dokey. We're looking good on that part. Let's get this witch aggroed. Okay, and I got an idea here. And hopefully it works smoothly. We just gotta, gotta switch weapons almost ASAP. And then, okay, witch, you gotta die real quick, like here. Okay, there you go. As soon as she screams, there we go. We heal on up. We shoot. No, no, no. Oh, no. No, I didn't want to shoot. God dang it. Wait, shot the witch that time. Are you serious? Oh my god, hold on. We gotta back out of here for a sec. No, no, I don't care if we use up some shotgun. You gotta shoot the crawlers as they're crawling out. That is the only way because otherwise you're just gonna blow yourself up. And do you guys see how much damage this thing does? I don't think I can survive 200 damage, unfortunately. But why? Like, okay, like, why'd you shoot the witch that time, my man? You didn't have to shoot the goddamn witch. Mm. Like I'm saying, if this doesn't work smoothly, though, we'll just whip out a couple of the rifles, whip out some AKs, and just mow down the crawlers as they come at us. I just want I just want to blow up these crawlers. I want to see if you can kill them as they're crawling out. Because if we can do that, that's actually going to be a huge advantage. That's the huge thing we're trying to discover here. And if we can make that work properly, all will be well. So, okay, I'm going to draw the witch a little bit over this way so we don't have to worry about her. There we go. Let's heal on up. I'll, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop, stop hitting me with that attack, man. That's a little bit mean. Okay, there we go. Let's get... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Let's just. Yeah, it's not. It's not. I, I don't know, dude. This grenade launcher. You guys have been telling me about it. All right, listen. I'm going out with a bang then. Why don't we heal on up? Let's just. Uh, there we go. Boop. Yeah, like you got to. Okay, whatever. I'm going out with a bang. Oh, my God. I survived. Let's freaking get it. I guess that's how we got to do it. Hokey dokey artichokey. We found the way. All we got to do is blow ourselves up apparently that is the secret to salvation get the hell out of here witch ow don't be doing that much damage girl don't hit me with the big attacks like that let's get a little bit more ow dude that's the only attack she's doing right now ow how are you not dead yet you foul being you have one arm come on get out of here Ooh. okay so we do have these guys running at us soon uh as soon as they surround us like i said i know what we got to do we gotta gather around, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, everyone in one place. I just gotta be ready to heal a lot. And I really do mean heal a lot. We just gather. Are these all the crawlers or is there another horde coming for us? This could this could go very well or very poorly. 
Only time will tell. Okay, I think this is everything that we got. We're gonna let one more get like one more hit off on us. Just try to create a little bit of separation here. And uh, we gotta we gotta stay committed to the cause here in a sec. All right, boom. And then can I heal up? Oh! That's how you do it, baby! Who needs C4 when you got grenade launches? We know the way now. Do you know the way? I know the freaking way. Okay, let's definitely keep on healing up, though. I think once all the crawlers are dead, by the way, I think that is when she comes back to play. So that's when she stops healing, for example. So let's just get the best shotguns that we can out here. The witch is about to boom rush us again. She's done a little bit of healing, but as long as our armor stays intact, I do need to heal a good amount, though, because I am scared of her doing a lot of damage. But... You can't do damage when you're dead, you freaking witch! That's a dub for Star and the Snipe Gang! That right there is how you want to do it. You need at least tactical body armor, definitely enough heals, but if you have a grenade launcher, we just found the secret to success, and it is quite literally blowing yourself up. So please have medical kits if you're trying to do that. But in the meantime, we do have a little bit, a uh, little bit, a little bit more boom. Okay, let's get a little bit more separation then. I don't, oh my god, we got floater bloater over here too. Why don't we get everybody? Let's get everybody to be part of the party train over here. All right, I want to blow up everyone that we can in one. Especially because the floater bloaters will probably survive. There we go. Let's lure them over this way. Big boom. Oh my god, I, I hit the floater bloater. I wasn't trying to hit the floater bloater. You guys got in the way, you freaking dinguses. There we go. Oh, marvelous. No, oh, marvelous. Oh no, I'm not trying to get blown up by myself though. Okay, why don't we just take out these floater bloaters? They're obviously... Getting in the way of the plants. Oh my god, that dude just got destroyed. D underscore destroyed. That dude's legs are goners. But yeah, it looks like the grenade launcher, if you just round up all the crawlers, it's it's a secret to success as long as you're not too surrounded by them. But these guys, nice and boomed as well. And we finally actually have a reason to whip this thing out. And it's going to save us from having to whip out. Oh my god, a marvelous amount of shotgun rain. I love whipping that out. But... At the end of the day, that is going to save us from having to use C4 to defeat the witch because now, as long as we got a grenade launcher, and we've been saving grenade launchers for a while, we've never really used grenade launchers. We have found the smoothest way of making it happen. So, marvelous news if you ask me. Let's go celebrate our victory with a little bit of a raid. But yeah, long story short, if you guys have a grenade launcher, that appears to be the best way of doing this without C4. Like I'm saying though, if you guys may or may not know of another way, please go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to bless my ears and my face and my informations with all that up in the brain. And I'm more than happy. Should it be a good method, we could give it a go next time and uh, we'll continue spreading it. In the meantime, you guys might be able to be helpful to everyone else in this fan for good fantastic community. And uh, remember that that comment, you guys don't have to comment, of course, is something about defeating the witch or anything. Like I said, I'd love to hear just how your Sunday's going. I really hope that it is going as fan for good fantastic as can be. And uh, that'll, that could be your entry if you're subscribed and like the video as well into the giveaway quick reminder but all right enough reminding uh we did put some stuff away into here because again i wasn't too worried about a raider stealing from us right just during that like couple minutes span of us taking on the witch so now that we have found the secret to success and i'm not too scared about blowing myself up honestly we had three health after that last one legitimately speaking this football helmet may have saved our lives dude that's insane. But then, of course, we got our more silenced weaponry. We are going to be bringing out to play. We got to put away the valuables, of course. The grenade launcher being the biggest of which. But, oh, we guys can also see the recycler going hard at work. Almost at level 40, which will give us a nice boost. But we continue just having a copper farm. And, dude, what we need, we got to... Is there anything that we can break down into engine parts? Because I would love to get me some more engine parts. But I'm just trying to find for you guys the one chest that uh, I'm interested in specifically. See, the chest that I'm interested in has a lot of grenade launchers. I want to show you guys my grenade launcher stockpile. Because actually, in hindsight, I don't know how big it is. We got a solid little minigun stockpile taking those two into account, right? A couple of barrets. Not barrets. What are these? Berettas. That's what they are. And a couple of turret parts as well. But then... Over here, though, we do have a couple. Uh, actually, we do not have as many grenade launchers as I maybe once thought. So, I mean, I don't know if I want to use all of them just continuously defeating the witch. So, we might need to try to find another way. But in the meantime, we do have enough. And how much did ours get used up again? I think we used up right around half 
Uh, we used up a couple, but I mean, if you do it right, you only have to use it twice per thing. And then hopefully as long as we're getting floppy disks and whatnot, we'll be Gucci to go on that front. Uh, I guess we don't have any more grenade launchers. Oh no, we got two more over there. Okay, so we do have a solid little supply. Hopefully we can add to it with a little something known as a revenge raid. Because this fella, this little fella over here on the map, he did do something very bad. You know what he did, lads and lassies? He dared attack me. You guys want to see the damage he did to my base there and there? I'm about to do way more damage to your base, my guy, unless it's surrounded in stone. In which case, I have two C4, so I'm going to do exactly as much damage as you did to me. That's, I swear, uh, definitely want to put those there, though. We all bless up that we brought those extra meds, man. We almost ran out. I mean, I'd say it looks like for a witch, though, if you bring, especially with the full auto shotgun glitch, you could take use of uh, two, three shotguns just to play it safe and then a grenade launcher. And yeah, you're pretty good. It's really not not too bad. Although the witch, you got to be careful, man. She can do a lot of damage. I would have been a lot more comfortable in a SWAT armor. All right, though, let's take inventory of what we got in terms of the things that break other things. Hatchets It's the name of them. It lo looks like we're going to be bringing five full qualities, one a little bit worn down, a six full quality level ones, and the AK because we may not have enough damage to be done there. We can go ahead and chow down on the rest of our food. Let's get one last swig of water up in this tummy before we put a tummy at risk. What kind of risk, Star? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the raid because if we die, I mean, our stomach also kind of dies. You know, our stomach doesn't just fly off like a butterfly, like, be free. No, dude, that stomach's pretty dead, too. Unless it's transplanted, which is a good thing. You know, I mean, you could save someone's life. That could be pretty dope. Or you could have the stomach of a zombie, and that's how the zombie apocalypse starts. You know, maybe the rest of your body's just immune to the zombie stomach. But then when the transplant happens, oh, man, oh, man, you could start the zombie apocalypse. Dude, that'd be a whack way. There's a lot of weird ways of starting a zombie apocalypse. Don't get me wrong. That would be a pretty weird one. Also... We do have, I uh, just remembered, I think another hatchet in our chopper. I, I, I kind of slipped my mind for a gif. Ooh, interesting base here. Okay, well, it's looking pretty wide open and, and oh, okay. He does have a hut over there. It doesn't look like he has a chopper, unfortunately. He does have a sharpened stick. I guess those are called spears, but that's just the sharp. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind, this raid might have some potential. There's still some hidden areas for us to discover, and I fully don't mind discovering them, because, oh man, I mean, he might have some steel lying around. Wait, actually, what? I don't think he's got steel lying around, because it looks like whenever he's got anything lying around, he puts it into his benches, but he's not exactly doing that at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep beep. Um, but he does have a couple chests down there. I say we just kind of... Let's play it by ear. Let's break into a couple of these. We are about to get a level up too. So unless we're smacked in the face with the backhand of disappointment, uh, we should be getting a new perk and even... Okay, dude, why do you have that surrounded with a dinner plate? Why you got your dinner table so protected, my guy? But uh, if that all does go well, that could go... I, I totally lost my train of thought, dude. I was talking about something before I got distracted by that dinner table. <laughs> God dang it, dinner table. So distracting, but this trade definitely does have potential to go well. And hopefully, if we walk out of here with some steel. Steel is always the thing of these. Oh yeah, but maybe we get a red perk from, that, that's that's what I was thinking of. Trade of thought resumed. Yeah, though I do, I do crave for these rare, rare traits. Although I definitely prefer ATV driver and hacker TBH. Trader is kind of like me. I don't know. I don't really trade with the trader a lot. Maybe if I get trader, I will. When I'm the one that fleeces him, because that dude seriously fandangles me every time that we trade. It's bad, all right? He, I get fleeced. Never goes well. I got a shotgun like a couple times. He's been doing kind of good deals. Okay, though, we got to we gotta start breaking into something. I say, let's break into this. This could be a good kind of measure of the loot within the surrounding. Okie dokie, artichokey. Already it's a positive raid because we didn't do this for free. We didn't, we didn't have to do no coins or no question. All we had to do was uh, leave some stuff out to lure this guy into a trap of stealing. And uh, it paid off. Oh, rather well. Hello, aluminum, plates, and copper. Is there steel anywhere, though? That's the question. The age-old question I 
want answered, my guy. Why don't we uh, see if we could maybe come across such a thing in this chest? No, okay, the chest was starting a bit disappointing. I'm kind of interested in that one. Definitely interested in bringing death and destruction to all who may oppose me, AKA these guys for the most part. No one else really tries to oppose me because they know only death and destruction comes to it like that. See, that don't oppose me, man. Just let me be. I'm just breaking into this random dude's base. Copy of his base. We're at 3%. God dang it! We're up to 13%. I hate that too. Why? Kafir, please, for the love. Oh my god. Mm. Alright, just, 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 just let me explain, okay? It was like $2, and we did just get smacked with the backhand of disappointment. So, unless the game's really about to double back smack me, which I really hope it doesn't. Hopefully we can get an actual perk this time. But listen, the only reason I did that and the only reason that I'm tempted. All right, my speakers just started freaking out. That wasn't good. But the only reason I'm even tempted by these is because we never got anything out of those really. Because if you guys go over to the Explorers pack, that is one of the three kind of like mythical ones, I guess. Like these three got a ton of, but these three not so much. So I'm kind of just trying to make up for lost time, you know, and hopefully get a good perk because i would love to show off these perks for you guys and even if it robs me of my ha ha hard earned two dollar reduce from my I, I don't even know my change bucket my bucket of change two dollars ain't ain't super crazy right maybe i could find some quarters later today and not feel too awful about it and you know be like all right i made a net pot net net trade it buffed out but okay Back on to more important topics like not being smacked in the face of dis- I mean, smacked with- in the face with the hand of disappointment. I'm getting all my limbs mixed up. We still got more chests to break into. Our noise meter, we've only gotten the first wave of zombies. We do have some more stuff here. Let's break into the big chest, see if maybe this section has a little bit of promise to it. I would love that. Um, not really too promising, but definitely some solid stuff to be had and to be stolen. <laughs> not really stolen. More like taken because this is a copy of his base we're not stealing from nobody except the imaginary copy of the person but i don't think a copy of the person exists i'm pretty interested in this most of the level two chests have been really good so far can that trend uh ooh, actually it kind of did continue just like the trend of floater bloaters coming to their death continues except of course it's that's like an age-old tradition an age-old ritual at this point that the toxic abominations got to hit with the switch up every once in a while but okay we've gotten all the level two chests from that area i would like to go over here where there are more chests yes 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 uh i'm kind of interested in the one by the chopper not gonna lie this one definitely does have my my intrigue a little bit and okay just a whole ton of paint not really interested in paint game I already got a pretty dope uh color scheme you know what i got boys and girls i got that 2017 christmas the chopper skin Feels good, man. Feels good. And we got a couple still stashed up. So maybe whenever trading is introduced to the game, we can uh, sell them for some nifty exclusive item profit. <laughs> I menacingly laugh. <laughs> okay, though. Less menacing laughs, more menacing loot. Not menacing loot. Great loot. I like great loot. So we broke it through all the level two stuff. At this point, we get to see... Actually, no. We Did we break through that chest yet? We may have... Okay, we did. Just making sure. Okay, so we broke through that. That just had food and stuff. This one had, like, chopper stuff, kind of. Why don't we break into this one? And maybe it'll be a sign that either of these two could be promising. Not a lot of promise there, man. I'm sorry. That's... Yeah. Might need to be a hard pass on that. All right, let's go back to this other area. Maybe... I don't really think that this chest is going to be good. I think this is what maybe he was using as his uh, bait chest to bait the raiders into breaking it. But I don't know. Why don't we break one of these two? See if these are promising. Since they definitely got the potential to have prom. Ooh, Kidoki. Oh no no no! Hold up! Hold, hold the phone! Hold the phone! Hold the phone! Didn't realize we were getting attacked already. I'm losing track of the freaking numbers. The numbers, Mason. The numbers. What do they mean? They mean that you got zombies coming at you. That's what they mean. Too bad the zombies ain't no match for me or the loot that we acquired from this marvelous chest. And listen. Electronics are very nice because electronics lead to a level up of that thingy mabob known as uh what should we call the recycler. I, I was gonna I wanna call it some kind of bench for some reason. Now the recycler, you can level that puppy up with some of these things. And hey, I did put that thing away. Okay, even better. You can put some gas into there. I'm thinking definitely don't want to lose the copper. 
actually at this point dude i think i honestly think that 20 batteries is better than one copper our recycler has gotten so good that like usually from a stack of batteries we have like a 12 percent shot of getting something i'll usually end up with like five copper bars to be honest from just a stack of these so tbh that's kind of more valuable at this point in time we still haven't started deconstructing all of our electronic circuit ones though or all the things that can have electronic circuits uh which one of those are we gonna want ah, we don't need two gun oil man it's like two we can get more of that from loot and raid and stuff i wonder though with the weapon update coming to the game do you guys think gun oil is still gonna have a use or maybe it'll be used i don't know i feel like the use of gun oil has got to change at least maybe unless the specialist kind of keeps his same old uh same old shtick same old gig that he's always had of just giving us a random upgrade not interested in either of these by the way because we do have a lot of green and yellow take us back at home i'm really only interested in reds i'm not interested in anything that i'm seeing in these just wanted to double check on the really quick leads. just make sure we ain't missing nothing too importante something we could grab he hasn't invested anything too great into that eh. although i'm pretty interested to see what this chest has this one might have like his phones and stuff like his other electronics you know what i mean nope all right it's got like satellite dishes and stuff that's unfortunate um mm, mm, mm. i know we can grab a little bit more gas we can get like two more let's maximize this raid so much as we can lad then we can put this back away and get back what we yeah whatever i'll leave i'll leave it a bit messed up just lay epic and troll oh my god i'm the best troll in the entire world what can i say uh, what I can say is that I kind of want to break into that because this this little area here seems to have the best loot so far. So let's just go balls to the wall, ladies and gentlemen, and see what this chest may contain. A single camera. Oh, my God. Marvelous. Truly the stuff of dreams and not nightmares. Kind of wish I broke into that just because curiosity wants me to. Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, because we do still have, we only got like two chests here left to break into so one and a two and then we could go a one and a two and then this is probably gonna sum the big one but yolo let's see what we get okay nothing that i was looking for let's see what we get here okay just random wheels and stuff i'm gonna kill you real quick okay never mind we got it we got it there we go we gotta switch over to this okay no now the big one's coming okay i don't have the armor for this oh man oh man i gotta manually heal now because this thing got mixed mixed up what the oh no that's not good that's not good my key binds my key binds, they work it. Hold on. I kind of want to see what's on the other side of this. Please continue breaking in. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Had one health. Could have been bad. Okay, not pushing it. I'm not welcome. Not welcome. I'll take it. My entire inventory just messed up, too, because all my guns were totally... I, Jesus. Okay, that was just bad. I know we could have killed those dudes, maybe. Maybe we'll go back and... Uh, mm. I don't know. He was starting to do a lot of damage. <laughs> I'm sorry about the nervous laughter. I'm kind of just nervous right now. Mm, do we do it? Do we risk it? Uh, I, I kind of, I just kind of want to go off and live a happy little life. I think we might just go do that with our three hatchets. Silenced AK we didn't use. How close are we to a? Hey, YOLO, let's go for it. All right, why not? Why the hell not? Let's send it. I'm sorry, no fray you. I mean, you might end up finding. Oh dear God. Oh dear God. I hear. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. He was right there. That, that could have been really bad. Hold on. We need separation from the big one. This is the most. Oh my God. I've been bamboozled. There we go. Let's finish these guys off really quickly. Oh, keep on healing. Keep on healing. There we go. I'm out of there. We gotta level up to boot two. Let's freaking go. Woo. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going a bit excited. Last time we tried that, I died. I redeemed myself, however. We didn't try that in a minute, though, actually going back. But what can I say, man? I'm, I'm a man. I did it. I did it. Hooray. Someone called Dora the freaking Explorer, man. She'd be so proud of me. <laughs> All right, though. Here's some more great news. We don't need to give any of this over to no greedy raiders. All right. Look at these guys over here. Just like, hello. Yeah. You ain't getting none of this. Oh, I know they love some of this aluminum. However, what I love is maybe something from here. Maybe... Maybe some of that trader perk. Now, see, we don't know if we're going to be backhanded with disappointment early because we don't have the meter right there to correspond. So we got to cross our fingers and hope for that. I don't think we're going to get back smacked, guys. I don't. Oh, no. Instead, our guns will make even less noise than ever before. And a lot of these perks, like this one's pretty close to being maxed. That one's pretty close. This one might only go to level five. I'm not entirely sure. And if that's the case, 
I still can't believe that we haven't gotten one dog lover perk, which is kind of amazing because we've gotten like, what are the chances of this? Actually, hold the freaking phone. We've gotten this a couple times. Not once have we gotten dog lover. Are you kidding me? What in darn day? All right, though, what we're going to do here, put some of this stuff away and uh, go take on the blind one. Let's just go ahead and put these red tickets away. Oh, would you look at that? We're going to be able to come home with some of that red ticket stuff as well because we're doing a red ticket crate unboxing with those red tickets that we found during today's revenge raid. Can today get any better? Answer, Pro probably, actually. There's a lot of things that could still make today better, but all in all, still pretty freaking dope. What we are going to definitely need is at least a full quality shotgun there that we can bring in after that. I'd say all in all, we're looking pretty good. Let's go and take that uh, ceremonial swig of water. Not really ceremonial, more than necessary because I need water. Otherwise I die like most people and things really. If you think about it, like water is water's pretty important for a lot of things like, like plants and, and, and rain making tea. Cause you need water first before you can like make tea out of it. You know, I, I don't, I don't need to explain these things. Okay. Water's important. End of story. Now that this has been established, let's go and establish our freaking dominance over the blind one over here. We still, ever since the witch update though, we, I don't think we've really seen the big one. Like, I mean, I know he still exists over on the second floor, but it makes me wonder if maybe the big one will finally become like a real boss. Well, I mean, I guess we see the big one at raids. So I hope that they make the big one actually fightable as a boss and not just like the boogeyman of last day on earth, you know? Cause think about it, that's pretty much what he is. Like he can't, like he's kind of like the night guest. If you guys ever watched Grim Soul Survival, which is coming back by the way, that series ain't over just waiting on a good update. Same thing with Jurassic Survival, man. Hopefully that 1.2 update is coming at some point because we've been waiting on Jurassic Survival for a minute, but uh, still that continued silence. It's been, dang man, actually it's been a while for Jurassic Survival. But anyways, that ain't the point of this. The point is, a lot of people are about to die. Just kidding. A lot of undead people are about to die. Dude, look at the speed we're able to get off now. Why don't we go ahead and get off some of that red tickets? Guys, start crossing all you got. The crisscross applesauce position. The finger crossing. I need it all so I could feel confident about what we're about to get out of here. If we net ourselves a C4, today's going to be an amazing day. If we don't. It's gonna be kind of poopy. I don't think we got got a a a a a though We got ourselves two engine parts I think that I could take that very happily to the bank not to mention an absurd amount of weaponry here Yeah, 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 let's freaking go. We'll come back for the rest of that too in just a gif Just a little bit. We got three more of those we can toss in there to make that a full stack in we got a lot of pistola. We got to blow true before we make our way over into the blind one. Because that's the weapon of choice for us, I do believe. Let's eat up some baked beans in case we get hungry. Ah, let's just eat up all the baked beans because we're probably, probably going to be thirsty too. Why can't I eat anymore? What? Okay, we're at full hydration, full everything. We're looking good. Let's begin the deep dive to the floor of the blind one. Hard mode is enabled. So the enemies are going to be a bit tougher than what we're used to, except we are used to hard mode enemies. So they're going to be exactly what we're used to, but uh, they're not easier. So that's an okay sign. I don't know. I don't really care how hard they are. I just care about what they drop. All right. I will adapt to the difficulty if the loot is worth it. And some of the loot that these guys drop, trust me when I say it's well worth it. Okay. There we go. I was messing up the full auto glitch. Oh my God. Look at the speed of this thing. I swear to God, dude. I think the pistols literally got even faster. Did you guys not just see how quickly I was shooting? That was uh, pretty freaking nutty, man. Like, like seriously. I wonder if that's worked like for shotguns too, where shotguns are like a lot more, a lot more durable. Like, can I shoot a lot? Oh my jeez, Jesus! Oh, dude, we're about to. Uh, oh, oh, this guy's about to, about to be D underscore destroyed, man. Flee out of there, yeah. Oh my God. I literally think that this method got even better than it was. I think Kafir released an update or like one of the updates they did, they made some kind of change that somehow made this better than it used to be. Like just, just look at how quickly I can get away with shooting shotgun rain here in a sec. We don't have to take it out on the turret. We can take them down on the way back. But look at this, look at this. I'm literally like, I'm not even trying to time it anymore. At this point, like I used to not be able to spam it, but uh, okay, there we go. I mean, I guess, I guess with the shotgun, you still have to be a tad bit careful, but like everything else, 
You can kind of get away with it. And I'm getting away with some good loot. Jesus, I got away with sending that dude's brain sky high. And hopefully I'm about to get away with a maida. Not that maida. That, that's, that's a little bit more unfortunate. No! A maida of the blind one. The man who probably caused this. I feel like this is the scientist that like, created the blind one. And like he saw what he had made. And he's like, uh, well, rip. Just started the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> probably just like, not, not going to wait for the big one to get over to me. <laughs> Something like that. Jesus. All right, big one. You got to go. Or blind one, I suppose. Not the big one, you aunt. You aren't big, bro. You ain't swole. Sorry to tell you, bruh. Uh, let's just go ahead and get those couple last hits off on me. Charge yourself into that wall. And I'm going to see if maybe I can do more damage than ever before with how quickly. Okay, no. I guess we're kind of. I guess with the shotgun, you still got to gotta time it a little bit. But it does seem like the shotgun, at least for other enemies, is still working rather well. Okay, come on. Get your hits in. Get your freebies. Get your freebies. Get them all hot. Come on, blind one. Get her in. Get her in. There we go. Then run away from here so I can run towards uh, getting some more bullets up in your brain. Well, I don't really know if I'm hitting his brain, but definitely his back. And there we go. Solid number on him. Not enough healing for you. He's raging over here. Oh, my God. Blind one. Relax. All right. Listen, we all die in Fortnite. All right. You don't need a rage. Don't break the controller. Okay, just 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 accept it. Just accept it. Move on. Drop tilted and just keep keep trying to get better or something. I don't know. I believe in you, blind one, but I also believe that you done, no son. Thanks for all the loot that you brought my way. Like more red tickets, more of these things will be able to turn on into the specialist guy. Do we turn into? Yeah, we do turn into the specialist. I always forget if we turn into the specialist or the workbench. I don't know. There's just like there's three things you can interact with over there. I guess that's that is what confuses me. Um, I'm gonna try and honestly do a little little something that we haven't tried yet. I'm just gonna try to shock and rain the bejesus out of this turret. Like uh YOLO! There we go. Nothing like out shot good raining a god dang turret. I'll take that. Oh, I won't take that. Come on, man. You're giving me something a little bit better than that. But so uh, with that. I believe that is going to bring an end to the conclusion of today's epicness. We did an absolutely fan for fantastic job taking out the witch and discovering that apparently shooting yourself with the grenade launcher is the recipe to success. Is Although that might not sound like a recipe to success. You guys saw it with your own dang eye holes. Recipe for success confirmed. So if that's able to some of you boys and girls out, if you got spare grenade launchers lying around, so not necessarily everybody those definitely aren't the easiest things to come across but if you do they are pretty useful in the meantime though hopefully we can continue pooling some information and figuring out the best ways of taking out the witch without using c4 currently that's a grenade launcher but grenade launcher is also pretty rare so probably want to continue trying to find better ways but that's going to start wrapping up for this episode of last day on earth survival which you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to hit that like button make sure to subscribe and make sure to comment down below so you can get an entry over into that that giveaway but in the meantime i wish y'all nothing but the greatest of luck getting the chopper gas tank joining the chopper squadron leveling up and breeding your puppas getting your skills protecting your base going on raids defeat the witch getting past the multiplayer wall and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely favorite fantastic day but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to you next one see ya